All right, class, the next thing you're gonna do is prep your paper to take outside to spray paint. You're going to have the opportunity to spray paint your stencils three times each. You're going to be turning in your best one to me for a grade. Um, so what I have here is my stencil and a much larger sheet of paper. This is the 18 by 24 sheet of paper. I'm gonna center my stencil on that paper and I'm gonna tack it down with a couple pieces of tape on each side. So that way, if a gust of wind comes along, I'm not gonna have to worry about it blowing away. And the other thing I want to do is look for any areas that are lifting up these little tiny, tiny pieces. Um, mine is relatively flat, so I'm not too concerned about anything here. As long as I have my spray paint can positioned appropriately, it'll be just fine. But if you have any areas that are lifted up that you're kind of worried about, because if it's lifted up, that whole area will end up looking like a big black hole. What you can do is tear the masking tape into little tiny pieces and make these little teeny tiny rolls, just like that. And you can just stick it underneath those smaller parts to kind of keep them anchored down. You don't want to put down too much tape though because you want to be able to lift it up rather quickly so that way you can attach it to your next sheet of paper. But if you have your first one ready to go, we'll get it, we will be able to get started much faster. Also don't forget that you will be spray painting your signature stencils also. Um, you'll be doing that as soon as you spray paint the first one. So once I get this spray painted, I will be removing this top sheet and then I'll get to see how my stencil looks. And then I will be able to quickly lay this down and go ch -ch -ch right on top of it. All right, we're doing this as Banksy-like as possible. It's nighttime, I'm in my hoodie, and I've got my spray paint can ready to go. We're gonna spray paint our stencil onto our three pieces of paper. And I wanna show you about the appropriate distance that you need to be from your paper when you're spray painting. You need to be about six inches away, about right here. And you wanna make sure that the stream that's coming out of your spray paint can is very short and choppy. It should go ch -ch -ch. You don't wanna hold it down for too long because it'll get too runny and it'll go underneath the stencil. So mine's gonna go just ch -ch. And I wanna to try to stay as on top of it as possible. Um, I don't wanna necessarily make it too dark because that's when I risk it getting too runny and then when I move it, it'll drip underneath my stencil. So that looks pretty good. So I'm gonna take this off. That's why you don't want too many pieces of tape. Oh, that would turn out beautiful. Typically, the less amount of spray paint you use, the clearer the picture gets. So I'm move this one on. And I'm just gonna go quick, 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 quick. Now I can tell my stencil is moving a little bit more with this one, so it'll be interesting to see how it turned out. Ah, oh, still pretty nice. Pretty banksy like. And this one. Give it one last go. And quick, quick, quick. Notice how I'm not too close. And it's nice and airy. Last thing I need to do is sign it. I got my Java. It's so small, I'm not going to tape it down. I'm just going to really quickly go, oh, maybe I should have taped it down. Oh, wow. That's so kind of cool. Let's see if we can have some tape here. It's a little bit looser than I expected. And that one got a little more puddly. This one is my winner. All right, thanks a lot for filming, Henry.